All right, guys, so we got the 480 volt transformer here down to 120. Um, this is the way that it's supposed to go according to this diagram. Um, so you got your 480 on H3, H1, H2, 120 on X1, neutral on XO, another 120 on X2 and X3. Um, and here it is. So that's feeding the panel right here. Um, but let me just say right here, these two go up to the bottom of this gear over here. Um, this is where they used to run out the front door. So we're rerunning them underground. Um, down through the concrete over there. Those three go up over to here. Two of these go out to the junction box to feed the machines outside. And the other one goes right into the transformer. 480 volt in, 120 volt out, up to this panel right here um, that I was working on a little bit. Um, so yeah, and out here, they call it MSHA or something, so there's really no NEC. You don't have to follow any rules or anything like that. So I'm assuming that's why my coworkers are skipping the bonding bushings and stuff like that. Um, same down here. Um, Anyways, as soon as we finished wiring this up, um, they s we went to turn it on and it started making a really loud noise. So um, we might have ordered the wrong transformer, but I think they're gonna let it slide. We're gonna test it out a little bit, but turned it on once it was pretty loud, but it's a 480 volt Y and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be um, something else. Um, transformer was supposed to be a different version or whatnot to support that but they, I don't think they noticed that so um, it's a little bit off I might have to rewire something but uh, we'll probably test it out here and see um, worst case it's just gonna be really noisy I'm not sure um, but anyways that's what we got going on up here just have to test it out put the cover back on test this out put the panel cover on this um, then I got the plug right here just wired in from the breaker so if you guys kind of been following my channel on the electrical 101 um, this is kind of how it works you got your um, power coming off the breaker right here neutral and ground off this ground bar because it's not a uh, sub panel these grounds and neutrals can be together um, so got, that's where this comes into play the uh, Gosh, I, I never use the word. Um, I think it's called a bonding screw. Um, I forget, don't quote me on that. Um, but anyways, this screw ties the grounds and the neutrals together to the back of the panel um, through this lug right here. So anyways, you got the, that running down to here into the GFI and then on the load side going over to this plug right here. So they're both GFI protected from this one breaker right there from the GFI. Or, I mean, power coming in from the breaker, both GFI protected from that GFI right there. So, anyways, that's what we got going on out here. Um, like I said yesterday, um, got this breaker installed right there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so got the panel covers installed next. Um, this video is quite out of order because I did a whole bunch of stuff at the beginning of the day, but um, just the way that I record the videos and stuff. Um, this is the way, the order that we're going. Anyways, uh, next we went up and started testing the machines and making, making sure they were working. Um, I think this is a slow-mo of this uh, machine working. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. It's kind of dark. And then next we went on to the... Next machine there on the right, um, but there was an interruption because of the wonderful work condition. I was really happy about the sunny weather. Um, but next we tested out the other machine. The first machine was kind of like a loader. They lift, they load all the gravel in there. And then the second um, video is of the conveyor belt, which extends out into the river onto a barge, which loads the gravel. Um, so basically they crush the gravel. Um, at a different job site, they bring it over with a truck, put it in a giant pile, and then later they um, put it in that first machine, which 
um, spits it onto a conveyor belt, and then the next one is an extended conveyor belt that goes into the ocean to load onto the barge. And yesterday I didn't get to mention um, about these cabinets right here. Uh, my other coworker was working on these, but I finished this one there on the right. Um, basically, the cord used to just go straight in, but now they added a detachable plug, um, cord and plug, so that they can remove it if they ever need to move the machine around. They don't have to disconnect it from hard wire anymore. Um, so here is the other end of that going into the junction box, um, which I finished there this morning, drilling these two holes, landing these wires, connecting them all up, and um, landing them in the terminal blocks, which you will see here momentarily. Um, and there was, I think there are some more pictures of that plug later, but I think it got out of order. Um, so anyway, here's the cabinet all finished and closed. And then next right here is the pictures of the inside. Um, so this is what I worked on at the beginning of the day. Um, nothing perfect, um, but it isn't trash, so that's good. And uh, no complaints from the boss. So anyways, that's, this is solid copper wire, 350 or 3 odd or 350, I can't remember. Um, it's super, super hard, and I've never dealt with copper really ever before. Um, so I don't know if that's a union thing or just the specs of the job. But um, here are the terminal block covers put back on. Basically, you have to have this little plastic hole over these blocks so you put the wire through the plastic hole and then the plastic cover goes on top um, so this is the plug again uh, I think these are way too short but um, basically just match the colors from the inside and then match them on the external plug that um, I was working on but the guy that was installing these installed them wrong so I had to take all this apart anyway so my work was down the drain but anyways that wasn't my fault so it's all good um, so yeah, anyways, here is another picture of the outside plug, but basically they had to flip the uh, the plug around. And then here is a nice little dog in the back of um, this guy's truck um, on the job site. So got to pet this dog for a little bit, so that was cool too. All right, guys, chilling in the dark, just got home. But anyways, I was saying um, the plugs that were installed um, were wrong. Basically, the male end was the plug-in end, so if they disconnected it while it was hot, then if they touched those... Uh, male prongs and they were going to get, get zapped so they flipped that around so the male ends were in the cabinet and then they disconnect the female end so um that's what they fit uh, they had to change um once they realized it was wrong and it was unsafe so they went ahead and changed that but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today's video guys thanks so much for stopping by i appreciate it thanks for uh checking out the video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It'll help out the channel. And I'd love to see you guys back here in the next video. Um, hit the description. Oh my gosh. Check the description for anything else. And hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Going to be doing some Fortnite later. Hopefully. New season just came out. Can't wait to play with some friends. Hopefully on tonight. And uh, probably have some dinner here shortly. So stay tuned. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.